DC lawyer has something. Yeah, that doesn't Cert stop any of these other guys. He's certainly getting some action here. Mm -hmm. Five ways to the flop. Oh, that's such a such a not a fun flop for <laughs> Pocket Kings. It is a very fun flop for Garrett Sands, who yeah flops a flush draw. And wow, look at this! A, a flush draw. draw and Israeli runs got two pair. Yeah. Oh gosh. I have this. Just but it's Tiger betting Ugh. on this board. Israeli run, smooth calls. Wesley comes along, who's up and down. I mean, this board's just fireworks. And, and Garrett, it, it, I imagine we're going to see Garrett put in a race. Garrett's no, no, he just he, he just puts in a call. Perhaps worried about bloating a pot against a higher flush draw. He's playing so deep right now. If somebody else happened to have a higher yeah. flush draw, that's the last thing you want. Queen that's right. on the turn is a great card for Israeli Ron. I think Wesley and Tiger are going to get booted out of this pot here. I mean, Kings are a big hand, but. I think Ron's going to make... 5, Just 5,000. Wow. One-third pot. A little bit less than one-third pot. And Wesley's not going to go anywhere. Not with an up-and-down straight draw facing a one-third pot bet. Ooh. He calls. Now back over to Garrett and... I gotta be honest with you. This might be a spot that Garrett throws a squeeze in. I know it's a goo It's not. We can make a case for it, but because there's higher flushes. But he is not thinking about a call here. I'll just tell you that right now. He is not uh, thinking about calling. I, here. I disagree. I think a call is better than a fold. Right. I do but too. But is, I. But I know my guy. Right. Yeah. No. That's a. That's a. I mean, that's, that's why I'm saying it's I mean, not he's a, sensing no, weakness it's here. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Like, yeah. I, you're right. I know that. But this is. Did he do it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 30,000. Now you got Ron with two pair. See, here's the thing. I don't think Ron's going anywhere. Ron's not going anywhere, and this just scares the hell out of me because I don't know how many times I've been in this position, and I just, I just like, please, Ron, like, just hold up. Even though I love Garrett, I don't want to see Garrett lose any money, but this is where Ron can lose all his chips because Garrett runs so pure, bro, when he makes moves like this. I almost want to put the headset down and, and, and kind of go for a walk. I Wesley think, here kind of uh, indicating that he's he's yeah, going to be folding. Yeah, he, of wasn't course. Trapping with oh, my gosh. Strong. This is just, um, yeah. Yep. Yeah, Ron's going nowhere. He really can't. I mean, I mean it's a tough spot for Ron, though, with bottom two, right? It's because tough. he beats zero value hands. Zero. Right. I, I mean, the next best value hand after Ron's is Ace King and, and <sighs> not playing it that okay. way. But he well, does there make it the is. call. Um, Please go twice. Or, or rather he goes all in. And Please go twice. 4, Please go twice. Oh yeah, you went all in. Oh, yeah, I call. Yeah. Please go we'll twice. How many times? Twice? You want to do one? Uh, whatever you want. Whatever you want. Ron, don't one go twice. One. Okay. One time. I'm not going to argue with Here it comes, one. guys. <laughs> Here it comes. <laughs> Oh, come on. Oh, my. Oh, shit. God. Oh, God. It's so hard to see. Oh, God. And you can see the... Of course, Ronnie said okay. Go Ron, twice. I told you, if you wanted to ask me for twice, fine. If not, I much prefer once. You could have got twice, Ron. <laughs> You can't go. You can't go once. He's gonna hit it. This is not in any solver anywhere, bro. This is this is real life. Really? You think? As Garrett will tell you, and it doesn't make any sense to me when he says it, because I we talk about laugh about his run good. He goes, someone has to run good, and it just might as well be me. It's just math. That's what he tells me. That's the largest pot of his career. Eighty-eight and eighty-nine thousand. Michael just limping pocket kings under the gun, setting the trap. It's 800. So this straddle. Oh. Okay. <coughs> ben, very astute, just limping behind. We'd see a lot of players raise a hand like pocket sevens here, but we haven't seen Michael do too much limping in early position. But Garrett has a real hand in ace king he raises it up to seven thousand which is a again just a really large 
preflop raise size from Garrett. And it's back over to Michael. This is exactly what the doctor ordered for Michael. And how do you like this, Hollywood, Nick? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you got to love this, man. The chat already saying they know an ace is coming in this hand. Well, they're OGs. They know. Ace is coming. Re-raise up to 23,000. Back over to Gary. Four big chips, Michael. Thanks. Garrett, a very astute poker player. Always trying to get as much information as possible. May he have picked up on the fact that Michael was looking frustrated and flustered with the hand earlier when we saw Michael with some marginal hands, like the ace-nine suited that he three bet. He didn't do that. Garrett goes all in. And he doesn't get snapped. Michael did not snap call. You gotta, you gotta put the money in before he asks that. He calls. He up to you. I'd prefer twice. You got it. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> what do you have, Kings? Yeah. I got him so far. That's a good hand. <laughs> Beak. Yeah. No, sure that's a good time. hand. He'll get it on the second one. That's just the way it goes. Let's mm -hmm. see if you're right. Oh my gosh. First board, Michael. Here Michael, comes the second Michael, board. Michael, Michael, Michael. My Who the son. big winner is in this Bink. session could all come down to this pot. No way. Oh, yet. wow. Is, could it be a chop, though? Turn four, a five would be a chop pot. It's not. Wow. Michael wins twice somehow. 160. Hold it up against Garrett. Thousand dollar pot. And Nick, all of a sudden, Garrett went from being the biggest winner. He's now down. Yes. He's now down 12,000 yes. on the session. I... And Michael is now the big winner this session. I told you Garrett does not lock it up. If he's in this position, he no, will I'm play. He will gamble. It, you know, I wouldn't run it twice either. It, it seems like when Garrett runs it twice, he doesn't have as, as good luck, right? He kind of yeah. needs... Yeah. There's something magical about that one time. I get it. That he, he, get he it. just he blew it. it. Forty, sixty, seventy, eight, nine, eight, You know, Michael. Michael learned from the from Israeli Ron there. It went because Michael wanted to run it twice. He said, "Well, you run it twice." Garrett said, well, I, "I really prefer once." And Michael said, "I prefer twice." He was very emphatic about it. Garrett, of course, said that he prefers to run it once, but he will be friendly to the other players who, who do want to run it multiple times and, and do so. And There he did. It wouldn't have changed the outcome in this case unless you believe in fate and luck. When you watch Garrett enough, you start to.